What's up, YouTube? This is Brub52, and welcome back to making tier list videos. I've actually made quite a few of these, so this is my third one. My first one, I just kind of, like, ranked a bunch of things, and then the second one was Dead by Daylight Killers, and then... Here we are with the third one, ranking Zelda games. And the only reason I'm really doing this is because of Zelda Month happening right now. And PBG has made his video on, uh, reacting to his old ranking of, uh, all the Zelda games. So, thinking... I, I... One thing I want is I want him to remake that uh ranking video again this year i think that'd be pretty cool but i also want to do my own ranking so that's what i'm gonna do today all right so for the first one my top favorite zelda game of all time it's definitely ocarina of time it's really no debate and the next would have a majora's mask uh these two are monumental ocarina of time is my favorite game of all time I, I, a lot of people agree with that which is kind of fascinating it's so magical it was such a big thing for gaming and it's not even really there because of its influence like it's influencing on the on the gaming community although that is a really big part it's genuinely an incredible game and like kind of a template for what zelda should have been always and majora's mask definitely followed that up perfectly with this different brand new unique take and it's so exhilarating to play this game it's the only game of all the Zelda games that I complete 100% every time. Because it's just so rewarding to collect all the masks. And it, it's a great Zelda game as well. And now we enter a peculiar part of this tier list. Because I haven't played every Zelda game. I've played maybe half of these. So let's see. I like Wind Waker. I've never, pl I've never finished it. And I've played Twilight Princess. And I have played A Link to the Past, I guess. Alright, Breath of the Wild. Where am I going to put this game? Oh, whoops. <laughs> Not C. I'll get too much from that. Yeah, I'm, I'll put it in B. I'm kind of happy with that. So the reason Breath of the Wild is in B tier is because as much as this game is incredible, just like grand epic Zelda adventure just going back to its roots from the very beginning pure side questing adventuring and th this version of Hyrule is perfectly thought out the reason I'm not putting it as high is because the dungeons were kind of weak uh, I didn't like the whole system of your weapons breaking I feel like some parts of the game were kind of frustrating although it's a, you know I'm gonna move it up I'll put it in A tier yeah uh, personally, I have kind of like a, a underlying hate toward Breath of the Wild because a friend from Booker T kept saying this was the best game of all time, and just I mean, everyone's entitled to their own opinions, but I do not agree. <sighs> all right, original Zelda. I'll put it at a solid B. I appreciate its you know influence. Influencing on the gaming community. It's crazy how similar these two are. Ocarina and the original. All the pure side questing. It does get kind of confusing. And you know the retro style. Can be a little bit jarring when you revisit it. It's still a great experience. <laughs> Ugh. I haven't. Uh, I've been playing Re Olympian Worlds recently. Uh, replaying it. It is a blast it's definitely a better reimagining of uh, a link to the past and the whole like dark realm system of a link to the past is much better here in the low rule i love the i love my my collecting it's one of my favorite side quests of all time i love the dungeons i love the style and the weapons and the flow of gameplay it is the quintessential zelda experience it's a great handheld game and speaking of that a link between past I'll, i guess i'll put it in b you know, whatever. I don't really care about it that much. I've played it briefly. So, I mean, take everything I say about Link Between the Past with a, with a grain of salt. But, yeah. Skyward Sword. I, I don't mind Skyward Sword. I actually like it. Skyward Sword is... Controversial, to say the least. Uh, there's a lot of hand-holding hand -holding with the game uh, throughout. Uh, the combat can be somewhat jarring and, like, awkward... But I love the story, I love the atmosphere, just a magic, epic, majestic Zelda adventure. Alright. And this kind of works perfectly. I'll put, uh... 
Yeah. Actually, yeah. Yeah. That works. I'll put Wind Waker below Breath of the Wild. Um, Wind Waker is such a stylistic Zelda game. I, I love the atmosphere, especially Wind Waker HD. That is such an amazing port. The gamepad is such a revolution. It works so well with Wind Waker. Uh, the boat sailing is great. A lot. Of, sometimes it can be boring, but I just love the atmosphere of Wind Waker. I've never completed it, but it's it's a really fun game. Yeah, yeah. Put that there. All right, Twilight Princess. You know, I have had some sort of like a love hate relationship with this game. I've never completed it. But it's such a confusing Zelda game. Most of the time, I'm looking up what I have to do next because the world is so large and it's kind of hard to uh, get an understanding. The Twilight Realm, it's cool. Uh, visually, I don't find it a very pleasing experience. I always kind of like hold off from playing the game because the Twilight Realm is such a bleak atmosphere. It's just disgusting. Uh, but it's it's still great. I love the flow of gameplay. Wolf Link is an innovation beyond imagining. I love Lake Hylia in general. That's probably like the quintessential version of Lake Hylia, aside from Ocarina of Time's version. Man, I really want to play Ocarina of Time now. <laughs> Should I do my, my Season 2 of that right now? Because I'm struggling with Majora's Mask. Not only do I have my Wii U uh, not with me constantly, it's just a very time-consuming game. And I've taken somewhat of a break from it. So hey, I'll, I'll decide for myself whether I'm going to start Ocarina of Time. Anyway, uh, Twilight Princess, meh, the meh Zelda game. I enjoy it sometimes. Oh, I won't say the items in this game are great. And the dungeons as well. So that's one thing has got going for it. And I have not played the rest of these. You know, I'll, I've seen things of Zelda 2. I'll just put it down there. So this is my top 10 Zelda games. That kind of works out. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then I haven't played any of these, so I can't rank them. Uh, anyways, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this short video. If you did, please leave a like and comment. I think. I'm not just doing this because of uh, Zelda month. I really do love Zelda, and I've played a lot of most of the ones on this list. A lot. I've played these top three, or I guess these top five, so much. I get top six, right? I've played Twilight Princess for the rest of these that much. I love Zelda. I'm a Zelda fan throughout. I just... The reason I don't have not played these is because of their retro stuff, it's kind of hard to play them. And the consoles. You can't... All of these are on separate consoles, and I really... It's, it's hard to get your hands on them. I would love to play every single one of these. I really would. But I haven't, so... Uh, yeah. Uh, I should have gotten a uh, Link's Awakening on Switch. I was going to, but then I bought Dead by Daylight Switch. <laughs> what a waste of money. Anyway, bye guys.